All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about charging and how to charge at work. This is the uh, charging cable that came with the car, and this is the Gen 2 uh, mobile bundle kit that you see. It's not quite a bundle like they used to be. And if you recently picked up a uh, Tesla Model 3, it does not include this NEMA 1450 adapter anymore. And this is what most people will want. This thing can charge 30 miles an hour on a NEMA 1450 outlet on a 50 amp breaker. It's the uh, next best thing to a um, wall connector at home. And um, at work, I've been charging on this uh, 515 adapter, which is look like a common outlet. And this thing can only get me three miles an hour. With three miles an hour in, in a typical eight hour working day, that gave me about 24 miles. I work about 14, 15 miles away from me, so not quite a round trip just yet. But um, I've been noticing uh, the outlet at work have a little slit on the side. So I picked this up from uh, Tesla.com, the website, the store. This is their 520 adapter, and it, it like this. It have a slit, like it have a, um, it's, I guess it's sideway. It's very similar, see. And this adapter it, is their, um, can get four miles an hour, three miles an hour. So one more mile difference. So that would getting me from 24 miles to 32 miles an hour uh, for a day. So then for sure it's one round trip, free, free cover every day. And um, this thing stay in the car at all time is because at home I have a dedicated, uh, the mobile, cord, the corded mobile connector. So it's the one like this with this thing built in like this. Uh, you see on the website for like 550, it's more than the wall connector itself, but it's still convenient. So that one's that was they plug in at home and then this one is in the car at all time. So let me do some tests and then show you guys if it's really worth it. All right, this is my uh, work right here. And um, I wanna show you the outlet. You see how there's a slit right here on the side? So you can use the 520 adapter. This is the normal um, 515 adapter. But here at work, we have to turn this little knob here and then it will, it will crank up the power. It's sort of like a time meter, like six hour. And with that, I can show you the the difference between the, um, let's see if it makes any difference. There you go. All right, saying 17 hours. I'm at 64%. And let's see what kind of speed I'm getting. It's detecting it at 12 amp. I turn off the AC already. Okay, man. Okay, Alright. Sorry about that. Alright, we're gonna try this uh 520 adapter now. So I'm gonna plug it in. Let's see. Like so. From 112 I think I saw, now it's 123. It's still one kilowatt over here though. And here's your amp right here. And now it's seeing it as, oh uh, look at this, at work. Charge speed reduced, check for extension cord. Hmm, for some reason. It says charge speed reduced. So that's the bus. So, um, <laughs> we are gonna see how fast it get. detecting as a 16 amp pull normally it's a 12 it's still one kilowatt though oh look, look two i always get one at work but now i get two <laughs> still slow but it's much better and uh yeah let me turn off my ac will that help the boost I'll check it again, but um, it's nice that it's detecting 16 out of 16. I was at the other um, outlet over there, and that one is a um, 16, but still hitting 12 in the same check your wiring. So it says something with that outlet over there. All right, cool. I'll leave it. Still seven hours though. 
uh, I set my charge to, was it 70, 80% this way. I put it, let's do 90% today. And then of course that's gonna be longer. Uh, oh, now it's 12 hour from 80% uh, to 90%. I always charge my car at 90% since I had my last one. So it's, it's never really affect anything. Just don't go over 100 and uh, don't let it drop below 20, I think that's the rule. I do 20, 90 or 20, 80 back in the days. All right, just a quick test to show you my home charging on a NEMA 1450 on a 50 amp breaker. And uh, it's plugged up. I just turn off the AC. And it's detecting it, it's at a 40 amp pull. And it maxed out at home, it's always at nine. I usually see about nine at home. And that give me about, about 30 to, uh, about 30 miles an hour I would say sometimes a little bit over because I have the corded version so it is pulling more than a 32 amp so sometimes I would um, if I looked at it it'd be 35 but I just ran it off to say 30 so about 35 miles an hour because I'm using the corded version if I use the one to come with the car that one I get 32 amp so um, it detects that's a 40 amp here pull just want to show you so well, with this one I get 9 with the um, with the bundle cord, it's pulling at 32 max. If the one you use with the car, and that's about eight, then that works on a 515 adapter, you get one, and then one, but it's only 12 amp. Then with the new one today at the um, 520 adapter, you get two at 16 amp. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys the difference. If, if every little um, um, juice count, then you want to use the adapter that's best for your situation.